Okay, this video is going to go over how to make some decisions based on things in our scripts. So we're going to keep working with our input, input.sh script. So far, I asked if you like pizza, we read the answer, and then we just echo the answer. So that's not very realistic. We want to do some things sometimes. In this case, we're going to do some things based on what the user enters. So we're going to put an if statement in there. So we're going to put an if statement. An if statement starts with an if. It, it uh, has a comparison of some type, right? That comparison is going to go inside square brackets, right? Then we'll put a semicolon and then, and then the end of our if statement, we need a phi to end it. So some languages use curly brackets. Uh, some languages use, use uh, spacing uh, to, to do this. In the shell, we type if, whatever we want to know, then we do whatever we want to do and then we have a phi at the end. So in this case, we're going to compare the pizza variable. All right, sorry, we're going to compare a dollar pizza answer. Pizza answer. We want to see if that equals to yes. And if the, if the user says they like pizza, we're going to print a message. We always, we always want to space our code over. Uh, for readability inside inside nested type statements like ifs and loops. So we're gonna print a message. Uh, the user likes, uh, you, you do like pizza. You do like pizza. Great. Me too. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for now. Oh, let's go get rid of this uh, pizza answer down here. So this is going to say, hey, if, if pizza answer equals yes, then echo you like pizza, great, me too. Do you like pizza? Yes. You do like pizza, great, me too. So let's run it again, and this time say no. Nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Because we don't have any code to, to tell it anything. So we're going to we're gonna copy this code. That's three lines. So in VI, if I do three YY and go down and hit a P, That'll paste it. So now we're going to change this to no. No. You do. You don't like pizza. And then we can no longer be friends. Because who doesn't, I mean, who doesn't like pizza, right? Pizza's, pizza's great. So now if we go and run it. Do you like pizza? Make sure yes still works. Great, me too. Do you like pizza? No. You don't like pizza, we can have our friends. So now my, my script works for those for those two simple cases. But uh, let's talk about some issues with if statements and, and how we structure them. So in this case, the answer can be either yes or no. You can't answer yes and no. So with the way this code is structured, it this code runs and says if the answer equals yes, do this thing. And then this code also runs, even though even though if it answered yes, there's no way it can also be no. So in this case, these answers are exclusive, meaning you can't have both of them, right? So in this case, there's another construct that we can use uh, with with if statements called the elif. Elif means basically else if it's doing another comparison, then we'll put our no up there. Well, if pizza equals no, then echo, you know, my friend. So now we can get rid of this part of the code. So now with this newly structured code, it checks to see if pizza answers yes. If pizza answers yes, it prints this, and then it does not execute this else if. So this is, like I said, this is useful when you cannot have both answers. You, you only have one, an, one of the possible choices. So let's go try this. Do you like pizza? Yes. Great, me too. Do you like pizza? No. You don't like pizza, we can no longer be friends. So, so it did the same thing, but it, it did it in a more efficient manner because once this code matched, it did not run this other code. So that's the if and else if. And there is one more thing we can do. After we've exhausted all choices, 
we can have an else condition. Capital E, stupid. We can have an else condition um, that, that prints no matter what happens if it doesn't match the conditions above. So in this case, we're going to say you didn't answer yes or no. Yeah, so testing, you always want to test to make sure that your existing code still works, well, if you can. In this case, if we say sure, it says you didn't answer yes or no. So that is the most simple structure of doing some, making some decisions uh, inside a, a script. We compare the, compare the, the, uh, the variable to what we expect to see, and then we have else, uh, elifs, and else, and uh, that is uh, what what we do if nothing matches at the else.